Just back with another video here. So Pierre Polyev uh, made this video and it says here that um, legalizing crack, banning plastic straws, welcome to Trudeau's wacko world. So let's just have a quick look at this um, little video here. It's only 48 seconds, but then we'll uh, we'll talk about it like usual. Yeah, and again, that was a really quick video, but he makes a good point, right? He's talking, well, you know, you, you can you can't hunt, and you know, you can you're allowed to smoke crack, but you can't hunt. You can't use a plastic straw. They've also, you know, you've also seen like these these places in you know Toronto and all the, basically every major city in Canada, where you have like these the old homeless people who are horribly addicted to drugs. They're hanging around, you know, you know parks or even schools sometimes. They're shitting all over the place. They're jerking off, pissing everywhere, doing drugs, and it's near children. And Trudeau's response, well, let's just uh, make it so that we don't put these people in jail. Let's just let's just have them be around children because that's good for kids. Kids are already going to grow up and realize they don't have a chance at buying a house or you know, <laughs> really living a, a life that you know their grandparents had because you can't just buy a house and have a car anymore and you got to work a crappy job that you hate that doesn't have any real good benefits and it has no union and you're just gonna have to work 80 hours a week to have a shitty apartment that's what these young kids are staring down the barrel of right now if rent continues to go up the way it is that's what these kids are gonna have to do that's not life. That's just, you're just slaving away for an employer and then coming home, sleeping for a few hours and doing it all over again with no money to really do anything that you want to do or to really save for a house or anything. You're just going to be stuck in the mud. That's not life. That's just putting people into was like corporate slavery. It's, it's ridiculous, right? Um, but back to, uh, you know, Pierre Polyev talking about you know, legalizing, you know, hard drugs, like what they did in the Safe Supply Act in B.C., you saw what happened there, right? I mean, downtown the east end of Vancouver, it's just, a, it, there's videos of it all over the place. There's homeless people, tent encampments, drugs everywhere, needles everywhere, in parks, on sidewalks. You can't, it's like hard to walk down the street because there's so much paraphernalia you don't want to step on. And who's in charge in BC? Oh, that's right, the NDPs. The NDPs, you could argue, are even worse than Justin Trudeau, which I didn't even think would be possible. But you look at their policies when they get in. You look at what Andrea Horwath, who's a former NDP uh, party member, and Olivia Chow, who's a former NDP party member, and what's happening? How's it going, Toronto and Hamilton? Not well, right? Right. Because you vote in these fools because you think, they're, oh, at least they're not the evil conservatives. And you think something's going to change, and it doesn't. Again, welcome to Trudeau's wacko world. You can do drugs and jerk off and piss and shit everywhere near children, but hey, come on, guys, let's save the environment. I'm going to go fly around on my private jet. Hey, 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 come on. Come on, no plastic straws. They want to ban people from having gas lawnmowers. I mean, this is how insane they are. It's just that they're so out of touch. They're, they're wackos. They're woke. Weirdos. The, the three W's, I guess you can call it. It's just it's it's so wild. That they believe, they don't believe these things. They just know that this kind of shit, like leaving a completely open border and having what, uh, it's about a million people in the last 13 months have come into Canada. They're not building the houses for it. Crime's going way up. Nothing's being done. They arrest you and then it's okay, a week later you're out on bail or even less than a week. Even if you killed somebody. I mean, it's just, Trudeau knows exactly what he's doing. He knows that this is going to just completely wipe out the middle class, right? Poor people are, they're already in really bad shape. They don't have a lot of hope. We should restore hope for those people, but that's not what Trudeau wants. 
and the billionaires and the millionaires who who he's got in his pocket, they're not going to be affected by this either. It's the middle class. We pay them the most taxes and we get screwed the most. The people at the very bottom are already screwed and he's not going to screw over these this rich elitists that are basically you know, he's in their pockets of these of those people, of these rich elitists. Just that's where Justin Trudeau lives, in their pockets. So he's not gonna hurt them. He's coming after us. It's very, very, very clear on that. And hopefully when Pierre Polyev gets in, he can reverse some of these policies so that we can, you know, get back to regular life. But unfortunately, it looks like Canada might be completely fucked. I hope not, but it's not looking good. And when you just look at what the state of Canada after nine years of Trudeau, it's just we're in a disgusting, awful place right now, and I don't know, man. It's going to take at least a couple of years for Pierre Polyev to even start to get us out of this. There's some things he can do right away, you know, close the border, start building more houses, but building houses takes a while. You know, putting you know criminals who murder people or attempt to murder people in jail for a long time where they belong, he can start doing that kind of stuff fairly quickly, I believe. So hopefully he does. But right now, it's not looking too good, guys. But hopefully things change. Let me know what you think in the comment section. What do you think about Trudeau's wacko world? I always like enjoying, uh, I always enjoy reading your comments and I try to reply as soon as possible. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be back shortly with another.